Mr. Minnick helping my students with Python turtle graphics. Here I'm in a, a code window here for a Python program and uh, over here on the right I have a tab window opened up to what I call the API uh, to, to get to this location. I have a link to it in Schoology from my home page or you could just Google Python turtle graphics and you'll find a web page that looks just like this at python.org which when you scroll down it has a list of Python turtle methods I, I sometimes call them commands some people call them functions even though that's probably incorrect but they're called methods officially. Not all of these methods are going to be uh, covered on a test, but you're encouraged to use a bunch of them, even if they're not on the test in this class, to show that you know how to learn how to learn. In other words, figure out how clear stamp works, use it in a project, and I will be not only impressed, but I will appreciate you teaching me something that I might not know. Because I don't know all these commands, although I could uh, learn them and experiment with them, and that's what I want you to do. Are there any questions right now in this room? Good, because right now I'm live teaching this, and I hope not to be distracted by anybody with less than 100% focus on this video pr production. Okay, well, I also have a tab open here in my browser to my Python Turtle Graphics Lecture Notes. So that link right there on my home page is this page and partway down this page your job as a student in my class is to use these methods from Python Turtle to create an interesting design. Well it's not really a command but it's more of a keyword the word import so we need import turtle at the top first meaningful line of code other than comments would be import turtle. Nothing happens when we execute that, but that brings into play the turtle library of methods, which is just a bunch of methods that we can now use, like the command pen equals turtle.turtle, .turtle. specifically turtle with empty parentheses and a capital T, that is one of these things called a method that can now be used because I had to import turtle. If I had these two lines of code the other way around, it wouldn't work because the computer always executes code from top down. If I try to run the code in the wrong, in the wrong order like this, and I click on the console window because there's a red X meaning error, it says that turtle is not defined on line one. So on the very first line, as the computer reads that line of code, it doesn't know what turtle is at that point. It's not until it gets to line two that it understands what turtle is because of the import. So you basically need import before pen equals turtle dot turtle. And I always put a blank line there for good style. Just, that's my style. So now when I run this, there is no error message in the console window but uh, sort of like a bummer, there's no output either. Well, let's look at the first command that I teach in my lecture notes other than this statement, import turtle, and then using purtle, pen equals turtle dot turtle. Oh, there's a shape command. So pen, you know what? Let's just copy and paste. You're allowed to do that from my lecture notes. You can copy and paste into uh, your uh, Python program. I'm using Replit run that and now I see a turtle is actually given the shape of turtle. If I take away that line of code or um, comment it out by putting a hashtag and therefore disabling that line of code, the default shape for a turtle is nothingness. Uh, so by typing shape it's, it's uh, and then running it it gives me this uh, shape. Now some other shapes exist uh, which I explain in my lecture notes. Arrow, circle, turtle, or classic are all 
other shapes. But if you go to the full instruction manual at python.org, and if you scroll down this long, long, long page, the shape method is indeed explained on this page, and there it is, shape. When I click that hyperlink, it's showing me that shapes, the shapes that work in Python are arrow, turtle, circle, square, triangle, and a couple more that you can't see because the video is cut off. There's no frog, there's no lion, there's no other animal. Turtle's the only one for reasons I don't want to get into. Okay, well anyway, the shape command is nice, but let's say I don't want that shape, so I just stick to the, like whatever the plane shape is that they, that they uh, give us. So I'm not going to actually use the shape command in this project, but I am aware of it in case it's covered on a test. Next up the bat, oh, I want to stress that double quotes or single quotes are allowed to have been used if we wanted to here with this turtle command. So I could have put double quotes around the letters T-U-R-T-L-E or single quotes. You can't have one single quote and one double quote though. That would certainly be an error message. So that worked, but you have to make sure that uh, these match. That does not work and there's an error message, bad token. I don't want to talk about what tokens are. It's not covered in this class. But the fact is, you don't have a match there of the correct quotation marks. Anyway, we don't want the, I don't want the shape method to be used in this project. So let's move on to the next uh, thing that's explained in my notes. Color. There's this color command that if you type it right, pen.color, it turns it blue in this case. So I have that default triangle cursor back. The turtle's are a triangle if you don't have a shape specified. And it's now blue. Yes, you can make it red. You can make it green. All the primary colors definitely work. But you might say, what other colors are there? Well, you would either look in my lecture notes. I don't mention any other colors, but I do have a link to a website that's full of other colors. Or you could go to that Python API page and perhaps look for the color command. And there is a color command listed up here. Somewhere up here, right there is color, and there's also pen color. When you click on that, I think they do the same thing, but you can look into it later. Oh, this is interesting. A pen can have two colors where there's a comma. I honestly didn't know that. I'm learning that now for the first time after several years of teaching Python. So I'm going to try it out. What's the worst that could happen? The computer blow up? Now, would they put something that would cause my computer to blow up on the official python.org API? Probably not. Although, if it blows up, I'm not buying you a new computer. I'm going to run this. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can see that it has a red outline around the green. That is so cool. But what if we had green first and then red? Would it make a difference? Inquiring minds want to know. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, it blows up my computer. Oh, we now have the green around the red. What if I change the shape to a turtle like I had, oh, I forgot. I used the name turtle there, but I meant to use pen. I don't want to get into why turtle works, but it works just as well with pen here. And pen.shape, let's set the shape back to the word turtle and see if we actually have a turtle with two colors. Now that's the coolest thing I've seen all day. That is just so too cool. I learned that from the API at my advanced older age. Like I'm almost retired as a teacher and I'm still learning new things. Sometimes from ninth graders who learned from a web page like this and then they just show me. Oh, I don't want to get too far off the subject, but you can mix and match your own color with RGB values. So by putting a six digit number, including letters A through F, in the double quotes, 
you can actually mix and match your own shades of color. Right here, if I do that instead of green, now because the first two positions are red, the second two positions are the greenness, and the last two digits there are the uh, blue, RGB, red, green, blue. It's famous. We studied it in another course or later in the school year. I forget. But the biggest number for red would be FF. The smallest number would be 00, zero so I want no red. But I do want some green. In fact, I want, instead of 99 being the maximum amount of green, FF is the hexadecimal number for the most red, a uh, green that you can have. Now, red, green, blue. I don't want any blue, so zero, zero. Guess what? This is just a fancier way of saying that you want your outline to be green. But let's say I want my outline to be blue. Then put the FF here and knock out the greenness to zero, zero. And now I made blue without spelling the word blue. Now what if you want purple? Purple is really green plus blue. So the middle two, I repeat, are the, let me put this in a hashtag, RRGGBB. The first two digits after this hashtag that's inside of the double quotes is the red. I want zero for redness. But I want some green and I want some blue. So a number in between 0 and F would be like 8. 8, 8, 8, 8. Now I bet I've made purple. Yes, I hereby declare that that looks like purple even though it doesn't, but let's pretend it is. Wouldn't it be simpler to type the word purple? Yeah, but it wouldn't look as cool that we're using hex hexadecimal numbers. I don't want to get too far into it, but in the beginning of time, there was the number 0. And then somebody was uh, born or something with one finger and they, had, they counted to one. Then somebody else was born and they counted to, to, to they made up the number two because they had two fingers. And so on. Well, once upon a time, there was somebody that actually had ten fingers. And counting zero as a finger, they ran out of fingers. And that next person that was born had eleven fingers. So they called the 11th finger A, the 12th finger B, the next one was C, the next one was D, the next one was E, the next one was F. And then they said, let's create a numbering system that instead of being base 10, decimal system, deca, 10, let's call it hexagon. No, hexadecimal, 16-sided polygon. And the numbering system base 16 that's used in a lot of computer science is called hexadecimal and we need the digits A through F so that it can be fully descriptive. So the letters A through F actually mean something if you study more computer science. Every once in a while you'll see like an Instagram effect, a filter that you can apply and instead of having numbers like 0 to 10 it'll actually have You'll see the A, B, C, D, and E, and F. Don't type a G. It'll give you an error message or any other letter after that because that just, it, it would crash it. It just wouldn't work right. Okay, that was so far off the subject for uh, what's going to be on a future test that only if you take AP Computer Science next year as only a 10th grader or later than that would you need to know, uh, or in life sometimes you need to know this that other stuff. Okay, moving back to my uh, long video, let's now go down in my lecture notes to the next uh, function, uh, command or method. Forward. Forward just moves you forward by that number of pixels. So when you do pen.forward, say 100, watch. Dun, da, da. The, pen, the turtle moves forward by however many pixels you put in the parentheses. And yep, there's a backward command, so pen dot backward, and let's just go back 50 instead of the full 100. Beep, 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 the backup uh, big truck uh, you know, warning, beep, 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 I'm in reverse, get out of the way, you don't want to be run over, I'm in reverse. Uh, that just went in reverse there without the beeps. Backward. Pen up. Yep, if you pick up your pen, then of course you're not going to make any lines. Now pen up 
has no space. You're not allowed to put spaces in the name of these methods. Why would you put a space when my lecture notes tell you not to put a space? And more importantly, the official API that explains how Turtle Graphics work, somewhere on this page, pen up is explained. Oh, I don't like this. Yes, you can just type PU and it still and it does pen up, and you can do up pen up. Like who would who would type a line of code that is mysteriously vague and we wouldn't know what it does? Because if I put the pen up in between the forward, uh, no, if I if I now try to do pen dot uh, turn ninety degrees and then do pen dot forward one hundred again, even though I haven't shown you what turn does. Oh, pen up no longer works. In this version of Python, I bet they've deprecated PU and for good reason. So good for them. Pen up doesn't work any longer, even though it's still explained over here on this page. So I'm going to change this to pen dot pen up. Then after turning 90 degrees clockwise, I'm going to go forward 100. And now we see, a, oh, it's still not turning. Darn it, I forgot. Turn is Java. Python programming language, it's right or left. P up, P U would have worked. Sorry, people that watched the video up until now. That turns you right, and now because the pen's up with this PU command, there's no line there. But I don't like PU because it's not very explanatory to people that are just learning this. So type out pen up and just spell it correctly. Well, anyway, the right command. The right command is on my list. It was uh, probably next. Yeah, it's coming up soon. Right there it is. You're turning clockwise when you use right. And left is a counterclockwise turn. So now let's be like Bruno Mars. And after going forward 100, or Michael Jackson, he was a little bit better than Bruno Mars, just saying. Uh, Taylor Swift, she went to our high school. She's, she's, she's better than pretty much any... Uh, pop artist or country artist ever known to, to man or womankind. So I have to do a shout out to her. Hey, Taylor, if you want to donate some money to the computer science program to uh, get us uh, um, wool, yeah, like something that, that will make really cool voice synthesizer and audio synthesizer backbeats to like some, some uh, rap music, we would take, I would take that donation. Uh, the school district, the school board would take that donation. Okay, pen down after Bruno Mars does his pen left, 720. Check this out. I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. I'm turning 720 degrees, which is more than 360 degrees, which would have been one circle. In fact, don't do it. Just watch me do it in this video because it might blow up the computer. 7,700 200 degree turn. It's one giant spin that takes forever. But another command that I show you in my lecture notes, pen.speed zero, which means so fast, don't blink. It puts you at the final spot where it would, would have been had all of that animated really slowly. Zero is really fast. Like, zero is instantly. The number 100 is, well, pretty fast. And then uh, the number one is really slow. Really slow. So zero is kind of special, but from one to 100, from one to 100, according to this hashtag comment here that right now is... Uh, by typing the speed of one, you'll see. Oh my gosh. When Bruno Mars does the 7,200 degree spin, it's going to take like three days. And how do you stop a program when it's, oh, you click the stop button, thank goodness. Okay, let's put that back to say 
200. So it's pretty fast, but I still see the cool animation. That was too fast. 100. That's still too fast. Let's just make it go 50. Okay, uh, the next command in my notes, the go to command. Uh, we're not really in order right now. I skipped the right command. That's okay. Now I'm going to hashtag out that left because sometimes you don't want to like delete something, but you just want to temporarily disable it. Pen.go to. The top left corner here would be approximately x equals negative 100 and then y equals positive 100. So let's send x, let's send the pen, the turtle, to that spot. This was way too fast, so I'm going to disable the speed command and just watch this animate relatively slowly. And there, because my pen was up, I got no line. Now why does, why does the turtle kind of go sideways and not point its head in the direction that it's going? Well, do we have a command that can orient? Is it in my notes? No. So this would be the kind of thing. Yes, it is. Set heading. By using the set heading command, and I'm just going to copy and paste, by setting the heading to some number of degrees, like say 45, the turtle then is facing the direction that he or she is, oh, 45 is that way. I want it to be facing that way. Can anybody, for a grad ticket here, tell me what number to put in there so that it's looking at where like, not, like uh, 1030 would be with a big hand on an old fashioned clock. Analog clock, 1030, where would the big hand be? Not 45. I need a number between 0 and 360. Let's try it. This is a grad ticket. Sometimes it's just worth winging it because what could happen? What, blow up the computer? Nope, 60 wasn't it either. You know what? 60 was just a little bit to the left of 45. So, figure it out. Give me another one. No. A bigger number than 60. Yeah, no, less than 180. How about 120? I took geometry and trigonometry in high school. You haven't, you're only in ninth grade. Oh, that was perfect, 120. See your math teacher in trigonometry in 10th or 11th grade uh, for those numbers. Or somebody make a poster for the wall and we can, uh, now I still have two minutes left of this class. The right command. The, the right command when copied and pasted can put graphical text on your screen. So that's pretty easy. So wherever the turtle is at that point, John Doe 2017 will be written with the J being right at the position of where the... So sometimes we want to hide the turtle at the end. So that's also in my notes, hide turtle. No space, no underscore, empty parentheses are required. That takes away your turtle graphic. And... Do I have any other ones? The circle command, I'll make a whole video only for that one because it's so complicated. And guess what? Part of your assignment coming up is to find another command that's not my notes, at least one, from this webpage at python.org, like perhaps fill color, or maybe, maybe the command stamp, or maybe the command delay, or polygon something or other. Use, learn a command that wasn't in my notes and apply it in a meaningful way in your upcoming assignment. And don't forget to add comments because I might not know what it does. And I don't want to have to always look everything up. Thank you and have a great